We're going to show how iTeam can help us with the reconciliation to detect, not necessarily correct, but to detect things that are happening out there. In the example we're going to use, we have an, an Active Directory group that actually we created from iTeam. And this group called Emergency Admin is one that always should be like this, empty. Okay, this is the one that you become a super user or an administrative user within Windows. And once you finish fixing whatever you said that you were fixing, uh, you should get uh, the access removed. But as you know, not always people call and say, hey, I'm done with this. Take me out of a super user. How can we get IBM and list IBM, uh, uh, IBM's uh, Tivoli Identity Manager to help us with that situation? Okay, so first of all, let me show you what is it that we did uh, in, in iTeams by going into the console. And the first thing that we're going to do is show in the services, we have a service for Active Directory. It's uh, this one here. This is the one that we're going to be actually using and the one that we're going to be reconning later. But in here, if we look at the configure possible uh, policy enforcement. The previous example, we have uh, a service to the same adapter that, and the policy was correct. This one has a policy that is alert. I mean, we don't want it to, you to fix anything. I, do, I just want you to notify people about the abnormality because there might be a reason why people are doing those type of things. Now, the other thing for understanding how we set this up is we need to go into the provisioning policies and look for the provisioning policy for OFN Active Directory. And let me look for it. Looks like it, I don't get the name right. It's called, oh, it's provisioning policy for OFN Active Directory. That's its name. So when we click on it, uh, this is uh, a, a policy whose members are all employees and the entitlements are access to Active Directory, but let's look at the parameters. It's, we, we said that for the group emergency admin, the enforcement is everything should be excluded. Okay, and it's a constant value, it's no formula or scripting or anything like that. So basically we're telling the system Everybody should be excluded uh, from from being a member of uh, of that uh, group. So if we go behind iTeams back and go into this system and go into emergency admin, uh, let's say let's I'm gonna, we're going to pick up. Let's say we're going to make Judy Hill. We go into emergency admin and we're going to add. Judy Hill. We click apply. Now we are out of, out of compliance. And we did this by going directly into the native system, into the endpoint, so iTeam doesn't know about it until it recons. And you can recon as frequently as you need to. So we go into, as we've done before, we go into services. We look for that provisioning policy for OFN Active Directory here is yeah, that's, uh, that, that's actually mapped with this service OFN Active Directory and we reconcile what happened when we reconcile well the system is going to find that irregularity and it's going to be sending emails to people let's actually go how do you find out that there's something wrong? Well, the system will tell you. Let's go into the Thunderbird and go into Eric Power. Eric Powers, who is the one designated to receive the alerts from this. Here's Eric. We read the message. And sure enough, well, there are other emails that he got from previous actions we've been doing, but this is the latest one, and that's the one that we, you know, are interested about it. Oh, look at that. Well, he can actually go into his 
nice looking dashboard and see emergency group with someone in ah for Judy Hill mm, oh I know about this and I know that Julie for example is uh, working on it so I don't want you system to bother me with this uh, if you reconcile daily and don't bother me until this time or they say you want to fix it right now and you want to put something here in like uh, we have a closed system and by just doing that if we go straight to Active Directory we will find out that there isn't anybody in that group. I, uh, I team clean the access in there because as part of the workflow that's what the managers did. So you see how uh, I team can really help you stay compliant even when people bypass the tool and go straight to the system.